Hello there and welcome to the Carbill Bunker. My name is Pyburn and I am finally back. Well, been back in many times, let's let's be honest, but back recording. Very excited little boy. Uh, and so I'd like to say uh, sorry that it's taken so long. There's been a lot of issues happening. And I would also like to say thank you for the encouragement that uh, people have given. And uh, I do appreciate the friendly jibing that I did get from Robin Shield's uh, community. But I would like to say thank you to Alfred uh, for the friendly jibing. It did actually help me. The, the really cool thing here is I can actually walk from one end of my base to the other now. All of that's been welded. Each one of these conveyors will be a turret. The landing pad has also been welded up. And I've just put these tubes here in uh, temporary until I can figure out exactly what I want to do here and where I want to connect any ships. But uh, as part of the future planning, I will actually be building a small exploration ship. We'll come back to that later. We do have vents to try and pressurize this entire area. There's what's been uh, done so far on the Janus. The observation deck has had a little bit of remodeling done. Tied there will be the entryway to the hangar. Down here we'll put some uh, helpful things such as oxygen generators. We'll pipe it in. There's some space underneath for that. Semi-industrial area that will help us supply the Janus. Through here, actually, just show you this. This is just light armor. I'll pull this off in a moment. Essentially, this is the walkway, so gantry um, this will be the height oh, of the observation deck once i find get a gravity generator but inside here as we fly around all this has been piped up main structure has been welded we're also putting these blast doors uh, they'll also have a switch back right in the middle here that will be as an emergency blast shields so that if people are in here we can close the blast doors and give them a little bit of protection. But we'll also be building our observation deck on this level above what, we, what the frames I've got here are. That was great English then. Here will be a stairwell. This will be mirrored on the other side. Um, but switch the angle. And because I've planned it out, and actually fit them into a 3x3. Three three. If we had it the other way around, we'd need a larger area. Just because you need one for the landing, then the switch back, and then go back and forth. Um, usually, I think, I usually go for a 5x5, five five, so I've got a bit more space to work with if I need to. I find a 5x5, five five, but I didn't want to bring put such a big hole in here. Because so I think a lot of this will be steep stairs. So under here, is where we will be building the refinery. It's the first uh, refinery section. I won't be building it hug up against this wall because this will actually need to be heavily armored. That's the outside skin. This pipe here represents the middle. So this is the actual center line for the Janus. And as you can see, it's three blocks off center from observation deck. So inside here we'll be refining and uh, we will also be putting in our assembling. Now I'm hoping to be able to put at least 16, uh, at least 8 I should say, refineries. Possibly 16 uh, and just as many assemblers. Although I found that you only need half as many assemblers as you have refineries because they generally outstrip the refinery in uh, processing speed. But we'll figure that out later. I think I'll start mapping out this a little bit more for you. So this section here will be essentially the wall, uh, the outside wall for the refinery section. I'm pretty much going to be keeping a gap in here. What's a good way of calling them? these are essentially like a wall cavity so we can put service services through here quite easily it's not that hard to run a pipe down those tend to keep gaps in my ships 
and it's, uh, it's probably makes them look a lot bigger than they need to be but I found when getting attacked if a drone comes in from this side um, or a large or a capital ship and especially in a modded world a drone or a capital ship attacks you from this side so or a player built torpedo comes in what they generally do is they'll penetrate a few layers of hull so hence the extra armor that I build over there that will also be built into the Janus once the missile pen or torpedo player built torpedo penetrates this outer hull skin they've got nothing but gaps inside so if they explode they'll be doing some cursory damage and this will be heavy armor not light armor they'll do some cursory damage but that's about it okay back to some more mapping for you this will be the uh, living quarters down this end was thinking about putting them closer to the to the actual outside but then I realized that this is like a submarine it's not like Star Trek or any of the other shows Babylon 5 Star Wars we, we don't want windows where people fall asleep and then suddenly they've got drones shooting through their windows and I thought of putting an extra layer of, of say a, a window pane outside of that but then you've still got a great deal of exposure right there that's not that's not good for a ship that's meant to be that tough and near possible to destroy and I want this ship to to survive in a lot of modded worlds as well so this is going to be massive but it's massive because it needs to be protected from a because a rail gun will just go straight through but again the gap but down here will be the living area this this be the living deck probably have two decks worth each deck will be three blocks high with a floor splitter along these lines Whoop. that is what I wanted so each deck will be three high and I'll have two decks of living quarters and I'll make some rooms in that space I should be able to make a fair bit of room and again we've got piping everywhere we need to make sure everything has access to the pipe and I know that's going to chug down on speed and sim speed and all that sort of stuff later on but it's, it's necessary anyway back to the planning so back here it's across so I'm still on the center line and I don't lose track of that the back here will be the rear deck Alrighty, so that's about where the deck, uh, the rear deck will be. So we'll have this much space back here, but inside here will be hydrogen. So again, we need a gap. We're going to leave another gap. It's one, two, three. The main reason I leave a nice three gap is that it found that it's generally um, a safe area for explosions to come through. But inside this area here, we will be building. I as well bring it up now. Show you. Yes, yeah, so that's what we want. This will be our hydrogen mega tank in here, so I'll build that one. And we'll have the thick armor on top, but even though I'm taking all this effort to protect this other stuff, I kind of like the idea of having a little bit of weak point exposure here. If I wanted to get really nitpicky, I could have a six gap here as well, or even a, just a four gap, like build it down on this level. And I may still do that. Because essentially what will happen is I'll have an engineering section back here then behind that of course we'll have the engines you'll see the shape of it starting to build out as I do more of this stuff but 
essentially this will be the engine room um, and this will be the main thrust point. Along the way I will have sneaky little side thrusters so I may be able to sneak them inside gaps like this. In the front here I will be building a large ship vertical launched missile torpedoes. Um, they will be large ship torpedoes, large ship blocks that is, and they will be using scripts to guide them to the targets, but essentially they'll be like um, base killers, also looking at making them so that I can shoot from space uh, through the atmosphere into a planet. So there's some, some ideas I've got there, but I want them all to be able to launch vertically through a 4x4 gap in the roof, so they will be kind of interesting to do that. Um, or I might make them out of small ship blocks, but on a larger scale. Essentially the size, I'm thinking about the size of a small aeroplane in real life. If not a large bus, several large buses, because they will be long. Underneath we'll have a hangar, so that will be this sort of area that's in the middle of the screen right now, will be a hangar, and that's where we'll have things like the Mini Janus. This will be where we will build the Mini Janus. The Mini Janus will be a not a small ship gone wild, but a little bit more of a small ship than you would normally see. Um, one of the biggest problems I've got is Pam is da too damn efficient. See, we're processing stone, but we've still got absolutely tons. You can see we've got lots of uranium still. Heaps of magnesium, heaps of cobalt, that's good because we need lots of cobalt for heavy armor. Still got some gold. We've still got tons of stone and I've had this thing running, uh, this game running almost eight hours straight over the last week. Get rid of this. So the other problem, even though I have each, I have uh, 30 large storage containers, which means that's um, uh, 45 million liters right, 45 million liters worth of storage space I've still got two uh, thousand tons two and a half, nearly two and a half thousand tons of gravel my iron is being ripped apart right it's got a build plate down to two thousand there five thousand seven thousand I had a hundred and fifty four thousand but I've done some welding that's uh, one thing we need the Janus for the mini Janus for is for the exploration mod. Now I managed to meet a few people, so I'll show you that quickly. I managed to meet a few people, but I haven't actually had a chance to uh, interact with any of them. I've been staying well clear of everybody. I don't want to cause any issues just yet. I did do a test game, and I got attacked almost straight away by the pirates. But then, when I reloaded the world, thinking the same events would happen, um, nothing happened. Uh, that was a failed attempt number six, I think, <laughs> for recording. Anyway, so that's what I'm planning on. Mini Janus be starting in the next episode, or I might start designing her in stream. That brings me into my next topic. Um, I will be streaming. Decided that since my job no longer allows me to sit down and chat to people all day every day, now in a more clerical role. Best way of doing it. But it's 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 good in a way, but it's also bad in a way. It's a natural chatterbox. If I haven't chatted all day, I tend to get the verbal diarrhea. My dad likes to put it. It's quite quite true, quite apt. As you can probably tell already. But so I will start streaming. That's what I'll start doing. I'll be streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights. That will be Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And each one of these streams will be a game. So I'm planning on doing that through Twitch. And I'll have a link in that below. Yeah, Monday night. I'm looking forward. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also looking forward to streaming on Twitch. As I said before, the link will be in the, be in the description box below. So it's a bit of a bit of an update episode but there's been a lot of personal issues in my lately I've had some housing issues there's been a lot of moving around I'm finally settled into a place 
recording at my little studio. It's, it's finally good to be out and about on my own again. I've also had a lot of family health issues, so I'm a little distracted but in the time that I would like to put. And I think on occasion I've been a little short, but I would like to say again, say thank you to Alfred Dumas, uh, Robin Shield, Remethep, and also even simmer down um, if you like some space engineers and you'd like to see some real home handyman engineering uh, pop over and see simmer down got a few videos out i think he's up to episode 22 and he started recording after me and he's moved across his country so so i've got no excuse but anyway i'd like to say thank you all for your support and encouragement and uh, friendly jibing and i'm glad that I'm still doing this and I'm glad I didn't give up on this journey. Uh, now I have the idea of streaming. See you all in the next episode. Uh, have fun. Bye.